Tony from Hurricane Wind Power. Today I want to bring you a video that compares power output in terms of kilowatt hours in a system where uh, we have 1200 watts of solar coming in versus our 1000 watt vector wind turbine. The 1000 watt wind turbine is utilizing a Midnight Classic and Midnight Clipper control system and that greatly enhances the controllability and the power output. So what I wanted to just take a brief moment and explain to you, um, since we have started shooting videos, I have emphasized kilowatt hour production over time versus showing a big wattage output number. So in this video we're going to share today the wind turbine, you know, we're not we're not here to show you, you know, like one huge number of instantaneous output that you know, it looks good for sales. What I, you know, if you'll stay with our customer Mike, um he, he did this for me and Mike a couple years ago we took a Saturday and we did some education so Mike you know is is someone that you know he he's got some good DIY skills with some education from us you know this is something that that a lot of people out there could do to save money on their power bill and or power an off-grid site. So we don't have a huge power output in this number, you know, number during this video, because at the point that we're, you know, filming and he's showing power outputs, the batteries are already at a full state of charge. And you'll be able to see that when he shows the wind turbine a lot of times the green lights on and it's just going over to diversion. I think the important thing that we're able to show, we're going to go heads up a 1000 watt wind turbine versus 1200 watts of solar and power output production. So if you stay around for the video, you know, and and watch it watch it through, what Mike's going to do is he's going to show you that power output production for the wind and solar and he's going to compare and contrast the two. Um, in this video, the wind power, 1,000 watts worth of solar, you'll see until the battery bank got full, you know, the, the kilowatt hour production actually exceeded what was on the uh, solar. The turbine output a little bit more kilowatt hour on the video than, than the solar did. Uh, it's important to note here, and we'll bring this video to you later, had there been a load on the battery bank, then, you know, the solar number would have been higher, the wind number would have been higher, but I think what you'll be able to see, you know, if we had a full battery bank around 2 o'clock, if they would have hung around and put a heavy load on that battery bank, you know, the solar number would have probably been closer to 4 or 5 for the day because he had good sun. And then the wind would have continued to output after the sun went down. So, you know, I'm thinking where we would have been would have been somewhere between 5 and 12 kilowatt hours, which we'll get that data to you later on another video when it's loaded. We didn't take this video during unrealistic circumstances. This, this comparison's done when there was a 15 to 30 mile an hour range on the wind and there was full sun. So pay particular attention to the graphing, uh, not so much the instantaneous output at the time that we're shooting this video because the battery's already full. Look at the graphs and the power out production over time until the battery bank got full. And then you will, we'll have some more videos coming your way, but you know, everybody wants to get in the wind versus solar. Now, I mean, on this particular day, the wind would have won. We would have put out more kilowatt hours than the sun. Now, I mean, there's some other days where there may not have been any wind and it would have went the other way. The solar would have would have done more. But just try to look at this video, see out what the see what see what Mike is you know sharing with you, so you can understand. It is not 
about showing you some huge power output number for one second. It's about kilowatt hour production over time. It's, uh, we're consistent in our message and we're going to start providing some data from several test sites that we have and we're going to show what our turbines will do and I I said it once and I'll say it again in terms of kilowatt hour production over time. I, I do believe we make one of the best, if not the best, turbine on the market for the money and you decide for yourself. Thank you. Okay guys, I just wanted to give you a little bit of a comparison of the difference between a thousand watts of solar cells versus a thousand watts of wind power small wind power turbine we have uh, four rec 285 watt cells they're wired series and parallel for a maximum wattage of about 1140 watts and we've got a beautiful sunshiny day here and as you can see by the local app from Midnight Solar. We're using a Midnight Classic 200 and we have so far produced today about two and a half kilowatt hours or 93 amp hours and really this is kind of at an idle. I just checked the state of charge on the batteries and we're at a hundred percent charge. That's why you'll see the voltage is as high as it is right there and we're just not making much power because we're not using much power. The batteries are fully charged. It's my goal not to exceed the charge rate on these batteries, which the batteries we're using are the uh, AES 2170Fs, 12 volt, 180 amp hour batteries. And they're wired up series and parallel to give me 24 volts and a total of 360 amp hours and you can see the max charge rate there at 30 amps so for any sustained period of time it's not about how much power I can get out of the cells I want to control and make sure I don't produce more than 30 amp hours for any length of time or I'm should let me correct that 30 amps for any length of time so I don't hurt the batteries um, we will look at the data here that's been going on today since the sunshine came out to play and you can see that uh, as the Sun came out and it decided to do its thing we've been we've been producing some pretty good power and that was up through 11 trying to operate the camera and the phone and then as the as the batteries receive their 100% charge it has slowly worked its way down to where it's just taking a little bit of a trickle it's probably because the inverter is on and the inverter of course eats up some power and there's some few uh, few things a few battery chargers that I've got running on some equipment that's inside the building that's probably taking up a little bit of power but it's not drawing a very much at all and that's today and we can uh, if I can find my mouse go over and compare that to what we've got going on on the turbine side it's a pretty good day today for wind and as you can see right now 146 volts 155 volts 234 watts 124 watts 5.7 amps and i'm sure it'll jump 7.8 amps yeah and that is a hurricane wind power turbine white lightning vector 2.0 110 volt uh, rated at a thousand watts and I have personally seen that machine do about 1700 watts uh, but 
that is way more than I require for what I'm doing. And you can see today, it's produced about 2.6 kilowatts of power, 97 amp hours. So it's hanging neck and neck with the solar. The only difference is the solar will go to sleep once the sun goes down and the wind will keep blowing today. You notice the green light that keeps coming on right here. That is the AUX2 port and it is set up to work with a clipper. And so when it reaches its uh, voltage uh, or current rating, and probably the voltage is one big part of it, the other part of it is the input voltage down here. I've got it set to uh, tell the clipper to start doing its thing at about 180 volts. And in the wind curve, I've got it set, I think at 175 volts. The clipper has a, another safety in there that's set at 200 volts with a potentiometer. Uh, this classic happens to be a 250, so it can handle up to 250 volts at 63 amps. Let's take a look at our chart for today. And as you can see, I started playing with it early on this morning, rewriting wind curves and the wind started coming up this morning. We went from almost no wind to uh, about a 20 mile an hour to 25 mile an hour wind. And once the batteries got full, once again, you can see it tapered right down. I'll uh, go on into a little later on this afternoon. You can see it's just, it's tapering down because the batteries are full and it's telling the clipper to come on and slow the turbine down. Again, you see the green light is on up above and that keeps triggering. Uh, take it on out. So you can kind of see what it's doing. This uh, flat spot is where, not where we lost wind, but where the uh, clipper was actually turned on for that length of time to bring it almost to a halt and as far as charging goes and making power it did bring it to a halt um, protecting everything inside the cabinet and we'll take a look at the wind curve here on this guy Our wind curve is set up, as you can see, at the high end. I've got 60 amps written in at 175 volts. That would be the most that it could handle uh, without the classic shutting it down. And it's doing a pretty good job. Again, the most impressive part for me is that the wind and the solar are neck and neck with each other today. So uh, I feel good about being able to come out and work in my shop at night on just the wind power, keeping my batteries maintained. Again, I don't want to exceed that 30 amps of max charge rate to the batteries. And I want to write the wind curve in such a way that with wind, we all know we've got peaks and valleys. So having it set at a maximum of 60, that's not gonna be a sustained 60 amps. Um, I'm testing it today, playing with it. We've got some really good wind. And of course, with the batteries being topped off, it, they're not really asking for a charge. I'm probably gonna put that back down. I've got another wind curve written where I've got it set at about 35. I've got one set at 40, and I'm just experimenting and playing around with that. But I thought I would share to let you see the, uh, and you can see the green lights on again. Um, so the, uh, the AUX2 port is doing its thing. And again, we've produced 2.6 kilowatt hours, 98 amp hours in this wind that we've got going on today. 
I would totally expect the, the wind continues the way that it is. We'll probably some, be somewhere around 5,000 kilowatt hours uh, this afternoon just on the wind side. Uh, the solar side, of course, we probably will get up to around 3,000, maybe 3,500 kilowatt hours today. It's a beautiful, bright, sunshiny day. So we'll see how that goes. But there's your comparison. Hope that helps.